So here is my design for the fish suit. So when it comes to the suit, it is just going to be a sort of a sweetheart neckline suit. Um, and all this is going to be out of the fish print fabric. And this is going to be a, I think it's 21 inches long, um, circle skirt. Um, and it's going to be a four panel, so it's going to be a full circle skirt pattern. Um, swimsuit dress, so essentially a swim dress. So the top of the swimsuit is going to be an old bra that I already own, so then therefore I don't have to create a swimsuit bra with underwire and all that. I already have one made, right, that I covered with the fish print fabric. Um, and then I'm, I already have the midriff front cut out and I have the skirt cut out, but I need to assemble those. Um, I did assemble the skirt so that it would go ahead and stretch on the cross grain because circle skirts are cut on the cross grain. There we go. Um, this is the, this is going to be the, um, under suit or the swimsuit actually made out of the four-way stretch, uh, swimsuit. It's just going to be a conservative, um, cut, um, conservative one-piece suit. So right now I need to cut out the, the midriff front here out of swimsuit fabric and attach it to the underneath part of the bra. So I have the... Um, the high-waisted pants across me about right here um, which is just a little bit above my belly button but I need it up to my natural waist so um, so I'll need to cut out a piece to bring that up bring up the height of the waist edge to my natural waist and then I'll need to cut out the midriff front and the midriff back of the swimsuit fabric So here is the progress I have made on my swimsuit top. So I used an old bra that is a conservative cut, so it's not very like low cut, and it doesn't show a lot of the the top of my 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 chest. Um, so with it conservatively cut, um, I do feel comfortable, you know, wearing it out. Now this is not swimsuit fabric. Okay, this is actually a, a I think it's like a, sh a thinner like shirting. Um, but it is actually 100% cotton and it does not stretch other than however much cotton stretches on the cross grain. Um, so the most challenging part so far of this swimsuit, right, has not been covering the, uh, covering the cuffs. Um, it has actually been the midriff front here. Um, and the midriff front is then attached to like the, the midriff side or whatever but the thing is if you can see this is I have to do like a stretch stitch so it's basically like a zigzag stitch and then I pull the elastic of the swimsuit to get the cotton to bunch up so that the cotton stretches with the length of the stretch in the elastic of the side this side band of the bra. That's the whole reason why this project has then stalled is because I haven't gotten the midriff front of the swim dress figured out. So the undersuit right, is basically just a high-waisted pant. Uh, here is the gusset, or if you wanted to say the crotch, right? Um, but I did use a quite wide elastic, which would really be inappropriate for um, swimsuit <laughs> elastic so I just didn't have any swimsuit or narrow elastic um, but the thing is is the swimsuit bottoms which this is essentially the swimsuit bottoms are actually too short so I'm gonna have to add on a piece up here that is a couple of inches wide to bring up the the height of the top of the swimsuit to meet the midriff front. I had to put on an extra band right at the top of the swimsuit pant and then I put on the midriff front which is the next piece up to the fish print. The fish print fabric is actually the lining for the inside of the bra of the band. I had to um, sew it down um, shorter like an inch and a quarter um, all the way around. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to match up the center front point of the midriff front and the lining of the bra cups to the bottom center front of the bra. So 
so like so so it'll be all finished on the inside and then I'm just going to start pinning the fabric lining all into the inner bra cuffs of the suit so that the bra will all be covered and then I have plans to finish my raw edges uh, later at the end. Um, I found it easier to um, make the bra cups actually concave. So this is the front of the bra. Um, and so I just push the bra cup back. It's so like this. So this is the inside of the bra. And now I'm going to just start arranging the fabric to where it is flat and taut and just start pinning the fabric lining in until it is all pleasing to the eye. Okay, so I've worked in the lining, this is the center front. It is pinned in, it is not sewn in yet. Um, but up here at the top of the bra cup, I am getting a little bit of a pucker. But what I'm going to do is because I have like a pucker of fabric right here on the inside of the bra cup, I'm actually going to take it in as like a little bit of a pleat or a dart. But anyways, that is how you would then put in the concave lining of the bra. And then you would just repeat that on the other side. And then I have a way um, that I'm going to cover up the raw edges um, of the top of the the bra cup on the front and on the back, um, and also the straps. So that will come in a little bit. Um, off camera, I have pinned in the lining of the cups, and this is still um, just laid over, and I will figure out what to do with that in a little bit. I'm going to work on sewing the lining into or onto the bottom of the bra. And the reason why I'm going to hand sew it is because um, the bra actually has underwire in it, which is the reason why I'm using it for the support. But I don't want to sew it with the machine because I don't really want broken needle pieces flying up in my face. So I'm just going to use um, a pretty thick uh, embroidery uh, floss or em embroidery thread which is what I used to attach the front onto the front of the, the bra. Um, I chose this uh, sort of buttery yellow, which kind of matches the uh, fish print a little bit, um, just because it will be something that you will see, and if you're going to see it, I would prefer it to match um, as well as possible. Okay, so now I have made it to the center front of the bra, and I'm going to continue on the rest of the way. I'm going to start on the uh, center front um, of the bra, uh, or of the lining, to get it uh, attached to the bra, and I'm going to try and do my stitches where they don't show on the uh, outside of the bra. And then next I'm going to move on to the shoulder straps. Um, but right here in the center front, the lining is actually peaked up higher than the uh, center front of the suit. So I'm actually just going to take some scissors and snip down the seam um, just down far enough to um, turn under that edge to 
finish the raw edge of the cup here. Now I'm going to fold this under and tuck it in behind like that to finish the edge there. Alright, so I've sewn the center front of the lining to the front of the suit um, without my stitches actually going through to the front. And now what I've done is I have turned under the edges of the inner cup to finish the raw edges of the lining on the inside on both sides. Um, up here I have left the edges raw because I'm going to do um, a facing strip on the top of the cup. I'm going to string the shoulder strap down through the tube. It's kind of flared out over the strap a little bit uh, because it's a stretchy fabric um, and I want as much coverage of the original brown bra as possible. So now I'm going to take a pin and put it in put it there to keep it in place. Uh, and I'm going to take this out and I'm going to center the seam evenly over the back side of the strap. And it's a good idea to make sure that your bra strap is not uh, twisted in any way um, inside the casing. So um, I'm just going to pull it straight now. Here I have it centered, and I'm going to pull it down to the end. Like so. You can see that. So I'm going to uh, take my scissors and cut that off and keep the bra strap, and then just finish the bra strap um, through this ring again. Okay, so. Scissors. And I'm going to cut this little loop right here. Okay. And then I'm going to go back to my sewing machine. And I may, I don't really like the way this is bunched, and these uh, fabric straps don't stretch any, um, only the elastic stretched. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this straight and then uh, turn it under um, to where the swimsuit fabric is straight for and then I'm going to um, sew across the edge and then reattach the edge of the suit back into that ring and to maintain the stretchy um, swimsuit elastic with that adjuster. And then I will sew the end of the elastic onto the uh, band of the swimsuit. So I'm going to have a little bit of a brown elastic, um, you know, strap there, but, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> so. Okay, so I've gotten the straps sewn on and they're attached up here as well. Um, I just did some basting stitches to attach those. I'll cover that later. Alright, so when it comes to the adjustable elastic strap, I'm going to put it back on through this a little plastic loop and work it back through there. And because there's too much fabric going through this, um, I had a hard time um, sewing it on my sewing machine. So, I realize there's going to be quite a bit of tension on these straps, but I'm going to see if I can um, sew these down by hand and see if that 
makes them look better. Okay, so this is the remaining little snip of the strap, and I have turned it back uh, wrong side out, um, and the seam allowance is on top, but I'm going to put the seam allowance on the bottom and uh, snake my shoulder strap through the tube, all the way down to the uh, top of the, the shoulder strap here, and make sure that my seam allowance is centered on the back. And I'm gonna, since it's stretchy, I'm going to kind of stretch it out and push it down um, towards the cup, over the cup a little bit, and make sure it's all flat. And then on the back side, I'm gonna make sure that my seam allowance is pretty much centered um, over the back of the strap. And now what I'm going to do um, from the front, I'm going to roll it down. So I find it a good idea because now this is already slipped out of place. I find it a good idea to pin it in place. And I'm going to use a pretty small pin so that it doesn't get in the way. And yes, this is the smallest pin that I have because <laughs> I have huge quilting pins. Um, so I'm going to take the top of the strap and I'm going to basically roll it down like a sock um, over the wrong side of the fabric. This is kind of like one of those 80s roll down your sock sort of bunchy 80s trick. Um, all the way down to the base. Okay, so now this uh, strap is now doubled over. This and this is purely a decorative uh, element to the strap here. And basically just push it down over the strap. And then make sure you check the back, make sure it's right. And pull it down. Alright, so now we're going to take that small little pin out, because it was holding it for us, and kind of push down on that little strap cover. And then we're going to repin um, through all layers back into place. And so now this is basically like a little for a lack of a better word. Kind of like a little ponytail holder. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to call it other than that. Okay, so I have the ruffle here and I have surged it together at the top and I have uh, surged the pieces together right side to wrong side. So it's basically two strips of fabric that are stacked correct sides up on top of each other and then uh, surged together at the top. So that when I flip it to the correct side, both sides of the ruffle are on the same uh, side and they're facing up correctly. Alright, so I'm going to take the end of the ruffle over here and start pinning it to the side of the bra. And I'm going to pin it all the way across the top edge of the bra. Make sure I'm in within frame here. And um, the swimsuit fabric is still pretty stretchy even though I have surged it, so it still pretty much curves around all of the little tight curves of the bra. So I'm just pinning it to the very edge of the top of the bra. I'm not sticking up, but just right at the very edge.
we're going to work on the straps now. So when I flip this ruffle um, to the front, that's really going to mash forward the, the strap. Okay, so we have to snake the strap back through the ruffle. So this little pin right here, and this is a shorter pin than the rest of my pins, I'm actually going to take it back out, and I'm going to pull it up because it's like a little pocket there now, and I'm going to snake the strap back through that little space to the inside of the bra. So now the, the bra is back here and underneath the ruffle. And when it comes to the top or the right side of the bra here, when you bring the ruffle back forward and around, it's going to finish off the top of this band right here. Yeah, so it's a little bit of a, a retro little double ruffle or flange or I'm not exactly sure what to call it, but once you sew it and then get the rest of it all, of it all turned forward, um, it will then all be finished. And then um, we will actually top stitch it underneath the first ruffle um, on the top edge of the bra. We will under stitch it across the top and then this top ruffle will um, be free floating and we will not top stitch across there. But yeah, but that, that will actually sew this little collar thing um, down as well, as well as um, finishing the raw edge of the front of the bra. Okay, so I've gotten the, the ruffles sewn on. And now I'm going to go to the skirt. So um, I haven't finished the side of the ruffle over here. I will figure out what I want to do with that, but I haven't finished it yet. And I will update you when I do figure it out. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and move on uh, to the skirt of the suit. Uh, so now I'm going to attach the center front of the skirt to the center of the uh, bodice front. And I'm going to pin it in place. So now that, that is pinned, I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and sew it. So this is the top of the midriff back, and this is the center back of the dress. Um, so what I'm doing is I am um, trying to finish this top edge. I don't really want to compromise the integrity of the shape of this midriff like, back right here. So I'm thinking about just attaching a um, facing and then turning the facing over and then top stitching it down so that the top, this top edge is then uh, finished. Um, and then I will insert the zipper. The uh, midriff on and then the lining for the, the, the cat's ass on it now.